welcome to Mixologist. So today we are making six holiday drinks that you can, you know, make for the holidays as implied by the name. Uh, you could make them for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for the whole month of December. Holiday was born! A festivus for the rest of us! <laughs> um, and a lot of these drinks are, you know, you can just make them in the glass, you don't even need a shaker. So it's pretty awesome to be able to share these with you. So without further ado, the first one is a cranberry spice hot toddy. It calls for one and a half ounces of bourbon. Um, today I'm using Freeland Distillery Bourbon um, because they carry it in our December box and so I have their bourbon. And if you haven't had a hot toddy before, it's really good. It's really warm. It's nice if you're sick or something. A lot of people will swear by them um, for helping with that. Okay, so one and a half ounce bourbon. Uh, I think, let's see. Next is lemon juice. So half an ounce of lemon juice. Um, ruh -ruh. It's lemon. Okay, it's fine. Okay, um, so I'm gonna create some lemon juice here. Life gives you lemon, you make lemon juice. Then don't taste right, cause it ain't right. Like when you take a sip of water and it turns out to be Sprite. I know so we need half an ounce of this. So what I'm going to do is what I've been doing where I'm going to measure it out but then strain it because so the seeds don't get in. Um, okay, nobody got to. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to use my lovely strainer here. Perfect. Okay, now we need three quarter ounce of cranberry syrup. So I'm using Raft, which um, is in our November box. And it's really good. And it's spiced, five spice cranberry syrup. It's, it's really nice for the holidays. And just, oh man, so good. Okay, so three quarter ounce of this. And then we're gonna Top this with hot water. So hang on one little second. I'm going to top this with some hot water. And then you can garnish with a cinnamon stick if you choose to. I'm not going to because I'm just gonna try it. So I don't really need a garnish. Um, so I'm gonna stir this now. And likely it's gonna be really hot, so I don't know if I will try it now or if I'll wait a few minutes and try it in a second. It's actually not too hot. Um, not really getting the cranberry syrup as much as I was hoping to, but that's okay. I'm getting the bourbon. The cool. bourbon is um, very. And a shot of bourbon. It's not strong though. And a bourbon it's hot water. Yeah. It's, it's nicely diluted actually, but I do wish I was getting a bit more of the cranberry syrup because that spice element of the cranberry syrup is really good. But it's pretty. It's pretty nice actually. So, yay. Okay. Um. Next, we're making a pomegranate mule. So that is essentially a Moscow meal, but with pomegranate juice. Now what I originally planned on doing was adding some pama to this because I don't know um, if the pomegranate juice will give enough flavor, but you know, it's probably good to try it first and see because it does have four ounces of pomegranate juice. So Me open, there's a special way. It could be that it's strong enough. Um, without the uh, addition of Pama. So, you know, let's try it by itself first. And not strong enough, I'm gonna add some Pama. 
So this is four ounces of pomegranate juice. Come on. Two. Three. Oh. And four. And of course I You're a pomegranate. And now, uh, with a normal mule, you basically do vodka, lime juice, and um, ginger beer. So that's what we'll be doing too, except we're adding pomegranate juice. So let me get some lime juice, because I need half an ounce of lime juice. Um, all right, so. Uh, Let's do our lime juice. Man, this is a juicy lime. All right, so we needed half an ounce of that. I think we got a lot more than half an ounce, but that's fine. I'm not even gonna strain this, honestly, because that lime had nothing in it, had no seeds or anything, so. Uh, so half an ounce of lime juice. Two ounces of vodka. And I am using Crater Lake Vodka because I got it for our November drinks and it's um, very good, actually. Um, so, okay, two ounces of vodka. Honestly, this glass might be a little small for this. Okay. okay, and then we're going to top with ginger beer. So I have Fever Tree ginger beer. Um, so that's my preferred brand. Um, you know, there's a lot of other brands out there. Uh, Honestly, the most important thing is to make sure that it's ginger beer. Not mm -hmm. Really get that ginger flavor. Um, okay, so I'm topping it with ginger beer. Okay, but not too much because I may be adding pama. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Okay. Now with a Moscow Mule, you don't really need to stir it because everything kind of blends together anyway. So I, I, it is what I was worried about. You're not really getting pomegranate flavor. <coughs> Excuse me, ginger beer can sometimes make me cough. Um, I'm not really getting any pomegranate. I'm getting You're a pomegranate. ginger beer. And that's it. So we're gonna add half a shot of pama because I want more pomegranate flavor. If I'm gonna be making a pomegranate mule, I want it to taste more like pomegranate. So I'm going to add some pama. If you've never had pama, it's a pomegranate, of course I spilled it. But anyway, if you've never had pama, it's a pomegranate liqueur, very, very good. Um, it's really great for like pomegranate margaritas or um, you know, anything else you might want to turn pomegranate eat. Pomegranate, it's really yummy. Okay, so let's try it now. Mm. Mm hmm that made a huge difference. Now it tastes like pomegranate. It tastes like a pomegranate mule. So if you're making this at home, Go ahead and try it with just the pomegranate juice. If you don't have pama, you might still enjoy it. You just won't really get a lot of pomegranate flavor. If you do have pama, I highly recommend adding pama because it really helps with the pomegranate flavor. Okay, so since we have the lime juice already done, the next drink I'm gonna make is a spiced cranberry margarita. I'm gonna put it in here um because it's a pretty glass so we need one ounce of the spiced cranberry syrup which 
we have right here. Okay. Oh, why am I doing that? I'm sorry. It's supposed to be shaking. I don't know why. I'm in a glass building mode of him. Okay, so no. That actually goes in the shaker, not in the glass. So we got our oh, cranberry We need one and a half ounces of tequila, half an ounce of dry curacao, which is the orange liqueur that I am choosing to use today. But obviously you can use whatever you want. Half an ounce of lime juice, so. And luckily that's like exactly what we have left over. So half an ounce of lime juice. Now I'm going to grab the tequila. Okay, so we got our vodka. If you're trying to curse, you can't hear. I guess a lot of people in this neighborhood don't like it. That apparently has gone on well. Uh, that's fine though. Mother four. Yeah, it just wasn't on well enough, I guess, the top. So now we have dry curacao in more places than we meant to, but that, that's fine. Okay, so um, that's okay. This is the vodka I like, which is Escalon Tequila. Sorry, did I say vodka? This is the tequila I like, Escalon Tequila Blanco. And um, I just think it's really good. Uh, there we go. Let me just make the dry, I should the dry curse out and like get all over the place, but it doesn't appear that it did. It stayed on the counter and mostly just got on my uh, recipe, so, but that's okay. Um, okay, so we got one and a half ounces of tequila. And then we have half an ounce of dry curacao. I don't know why it did that. It must have been loose or something. But uh, it's okay. Um, so we got half an ounce of this. Okay. And uh, it's a really good thing you guys can see the counter right now. It's really messy. Um, Alright, um, okay, so we got our ice, so we're gonna do like three or four ice cubes, depending on, there we go, how many we can get out from this seat. Um, come on, there we go, okay. three ice cubes it is, I'm gonna shake this margarita. I can find my top. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna shake this margarita. Okay, or, you know, until her hand gets cold, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, you're shaking to get the, um, the drink cold, but also to dilute it a bit, but, you know, um, so don't worry about it too much, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna pour it into our glass. That's an interesting color. Mm. I mean, hope, it should taste fine, but it, it's definitely an interesting color there. Um, okay, so let's see how this is. This is a spiced cranberry margarita. It's got margaritas! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. I like that. This one, you're definitely getting the cranberry and the spices in the cranberry um, syrup. Ah, oh, this is good. But you know what? I feel like margaritas are really good for this in general, for experimenting and trying new flavors. Um, that's generally what I'll do if I want to try something new, a syrup or something. I will create a margarita with it because it's just a, for some reason, a very good vehicle for new flavors. Um, I don't exactly know why, but it, it works. Um, mm. Okay, guys. Oh my God. Okay, so the next drinks 
are making, two of them are made in glass and one of them has to be shaken. So let's do the apple cider old fashioned next. I'm gonna use another ladybug glass just because I like them. So. Okay, so now we need two thirds of a cup of apple cider. And also, um, this one needs ice in it, so I'm gonna stick some ice in. there's not that much stuff in here. It's really just a matter of like, am I gonna make a huge mess? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, so apple cider, two ounces of whiskey. Bourbon is a whiskey. Um, so I'm just going to use the Freeland bourbon for this. Um, and we need two ounces of that. So, I'm gonna do two ounces of Greenland bourbon. And as usual, I'm gonna spill some, make a mess, whatever. Honestly, that dry curse out was the first time I've made that big of a mess, but it's okay. Um, right, and then we need Angus, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Um, and again, this is an apple cider old fashioned. Um, one, two. Okay, and now I am going to stir this one just because I think it should be stirred with the bitters and everything. So I'm going to stir this one. See how that is. Oh boy. Alright. Um got some of the apple cider, but not that much. It's more just bourbon again, but not as strong because it is diluted by the apple cider. Um it's good, but it's not, you know, my choice if I had a choice of beverages. But it, it's fine, I mean, for what it is, it's just not, you know, what I would choose to drink. All right, so now we're doing a cranberry, cranberry smash, uh, cranberry cobbler smash, excuse me. Um, so I'm not actually gonna put ice in this because uh, I only have two ice cubes left and I just don't really think it's that important. So we actually need, um, cranberry juice. We need cinnamon simple syrup, which I actually didn't and don't have. So I'm gonna put some cinnamon in here and hope that that works. Okay. And actually I might put some cranberry spice in it as well because I think some of these people depend on the cranberry juice for more flavor than it actually gives you. So I'm gonna actually use the cranberry five spice syrup for this cranberry cobbler smash. Essentially in place of the cinnamon simple syrup. All right, and we need, whoop. <laughs> I was sitting in dry curacao. We need three to four ounces of cranberry juice. I'm just gonna, Pour some in. We need one to two ounces of bourbon. Uh, so we'll just use the free line once again. 
So one and two ounces of bourbon. This this recipe was very much like, you know, do what you want. There isn't a lot of Lucy goosey baby. Lucy goosey. I'm just like farm instructions. So I'm just going to do one ounce, honestly, because like I said, I'm not a huge bourbon person. So I'm gonna do one ounce of bourbon. And then some seltzer water to top. And you can put some orange bitters in here as well if you want. Those orange bitters and cranberry, sorry, orange bitter, yeah, orange bitters and cranberry go really well together. Um, but that's up to you. Okay. I am gonna stir this because why not? Um, so let's see how this one is. Mmm, that's good. But I think honestly, because I added the raft syrup to it is what makes a huge difference because you can really get that flavor. I think if you just had the cranberry juice and the cinnamon, you essentially get more of a cinnamon cranberry, but this is more of a apple cider spiced cranberry um, smash, right? But I really like it, it's very good. Okay. And now we're gonna make a pear martini, which um, honestly, I debated about making this one. I almost didn't because of the fact that it requires pear vodka and elderflower liqueur. I was just like, you know, is that kind of too weird? Um, but then, you know, I went to the liquor store, I was able to find the pear vodka. And so I decided to make it after all and see what it's like. So hold on. Okay, so I got um, some Grey Goose Poir, because that is what was recommended for pear vodka. Uh, fun part is gonna be me figuring out how to open this. Um, oh, I see, it has a thingy. Okay, that helps. All right, so we got our pear vodka. We got two ounces of pear vodka. Okay. Um, so, two ounces of pear vodka. Hmm, smells interesting. Okay, so we have two ounces of that. We've got our half an ounce of elderflower liqueur. Um, I got bowls. Amsterdam elderflower liqueur for this. Again, never tried this either, so we'll see. Okay. Um. Ooh. Oh wow, that smells super interesting. Um, I will be using this later for another drink, so um, it smells really interesting. So that's yeah, good to know. Okay, one ounce simple syrup. and half, one ounce of lemon juice. So I'm gonna pour this lemon juice out and make some lemon juice. And luckily this one has very juicy, but I'm putting it in this thing like a caution matters. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so we got one ounce of lemon juice. Ah, perfect. Okay, and honestly, my ice has kind of melted, so I'm gonna get, okay, I got our ice, so let's get some of this out. Try to, all right, there you go. One, two, hopefully three. Oh. Ah, it popped right out. Okay, so this again is a pear martini. Um, never had it, we'll see how it tastes. Uh... All right, 
I'm gonna put it in a very pretty um, glass because it should be in a pretty glass. And you know, you can always garnish this with like pear slices or whatever you want to, but I am not personally garnishing it today because, you know. Okay, let's see how this is. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's good. It's so pear flavored, it's delicious. Wow. Okay, I had my doubts about how real it would taste in terms of the pear flavor because it's pear vodka and elderflower, you know, I just didn't know. And it really does taste like you're um, a pear. It's just very refreshing. It's really good. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's been six holiday drinks. Um, we made the cranberry spice old fashioned. We made the pomegranate mule. We made the apple cider old fashioned. We made the cranberry cobbler smash. And we, we made the pear martini. And we made a spiced cranberry margarita. Um, all those recipes are obviously in the video, but um, I will also put them on my website, Missologist. And yeah, that was super fun. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, gave some ideas for fun holiday drinks. And cheers. <laughs>